much when I feel like, I don't know, like I'm in a circumstance and I feel, yeah, I just feel like my stomach is really like tight and I have a hard time like releasing it. Um, that's when I pay attention to that. And I'm like, this is a cue. My body is literally communicating to me that there's something in this environment that does not, it doesn't feel right, right? All right, we are back with another solo episode and we are in the New York studio right now and I am really excited to be back in the city. I haven't been here in like two months, which is crazy. And today was a podcast day, Um, but I just I wanted to stay a little longer and do a solo because I have been just really aware of this one thing that I think is really valuable for all of us active ingredient listeners um, that I've just noticed within myself that I wanted to do a quick solo episode on. And it's the importance of being able to check in with your stomach on how you're feeling about something. So this is something that I think that like a lot of people would put into the, like the intuition category and it, it, it is, but I, I want to get really like specific and like um, practical about what I'm talking about. So I mean, in these past two months, I've I've had a lot of space by myself. I've had a lot of time to think, a lot of time to connect in nature, a lot of time to, you know, really feel a stronger a stronger connection to my higher self and just myself. And um, I've been able to witness within my body when I'm feeling really good about something and when I'm not feeling good about something or when I need more information about something or when something just immediately doesn't feel right. And I know that like, that could seem like a big kind of like, like a big thought, but taking it down a notch to like literally like an animalistic (laughs) level of where you feel like when you feel tense about something for me, it's in my stomach. Like when I feel my stomach is really, really tight. Um, when I feel like it's clenched, when I feel like, I don't know, like I'm in a circumstance and I feel, yeah, I just feel like my stomach is really like tight and I have a hard time like releasing it. Um, that's when I pay attention to that. And I'm like, this is a cue. My body is literally communicating to me that there's something in this environment that does not, it doesn't feel right. Right. There's something here that's worth asking myself, what is it about the situation that doesn't feel right? Um, and then I, I also have been trying to be really aware of when I'm in situations where I feel like relaxed, like my stomach, again, my stomach is like my biggest indicator when my stomach just feels like, like kind of like open and unclenched and just like there's nothing that's like tight holding on to it it's a cue to me that in that situation I feel peace and there's something it could be something that I did or the environment that I'm in or whatever but being able to tap into the cue of my stomach which is very specific I mean some people you feel it in your shoulders in your jaw a lot of people clench their jaw at night um your body is communicating to you about how you feel about something in a very overt way. And so many times we just ignore that and we're like, okay, whatever. I just feel anxious. And this is just my normal state where it like, it's actually not our normal state, but we've normalized that normalized that being a normal state and just being able to tap into when you're, when you're feeling unclenched and when you're feeling at peace and when you're feeling like you can exhale and just feel like calm in your shoulders, in your throat, in your jaw, in your stomach. Um, how can you how can you be in that state more? Right. So the invitation for the solo was really just to pay attention for for this specific one on your stomach. Notice when your stomach is clenched, when you find that you're like really just like holding tight in your stomach, and when it feels more open when it feels more just unclenched and it's really that simple this is a very very short solo episode um but I felt really strongly about sharing this because I have really found it to be super super valuable for for me um and like I said like this could be and in, in any body part that you you tend to hold tension in um don't ignore it because that is your your body is communicating with you that something that's happening is not in alignment. So when something is not in alignment, it is it, your body actually loves you and it's trying to tell you by clenching. So um, 
so yeah, I love you guys so much. I hope that you have an amazing rest of your week. Um, I'm just in New York for a really quick week and like, oh my God, I think I'm going to do a solo episode on just like the feels of being in fast pace again, because it, it definitely, I, I've had some learnings and just being here for a few days again. Um, and yeah, I, I hope that this is valuable. Also, let me know if you guys like these like shorter type episodes. Um, I don't I think that this might be like literally a five minute episode, but, um, five minutes. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. So this is a really short one. Um, but I just wanted to come on here and tell you guys this because again, it has really, really helped me in being able to choose the environment to choose the things in my life where I have noticed that when I'm unclenched, this is what's happening. Right. So when I go to yoga consistently, I feel like my stomach is unclenched. When I um, am around certain people, I feel my stomach is unclenched. When I'm around other certain people, I feel my stomach clench. When I I'm listening to too much noise, even if that is listening to too many podcasts, if that's like if I'm going too fast and I can't have a moment to listen to myself, I feel clenched when I um, have space in my calendar, I feel unclenched. So just taking note of all of that and and just paying attention to the cues, um, massive, massive, massive game changer in the connection to the self. So Again, I love you guys so much. Uh, Let me know how you feel about these shorter, quick uh, episodes. And I will see you next week. Bye. Bye.